Hello everybody on the internet and YouTube, welcome back to The Sims 1, here with me, Tea Addict. It is like episode 40 of The Sims 1 today and I am super duper excited, what a milestone, am I right? Uh, the last episode, of course, though, was not our most successful episode of The Sims 1 ever. We kind of struggled with absolutely everything and nothing went particularly well. If you take a look at our friends panel here as well, you'll see we're down to three family friends. So Mama is not our friend anymore. Jessica and Angela and Mortimer are all not our friends anymore, uh, which is not ideal. So we definitely need to put some, ent some effort into maintaining those friendships a little bit more. And um, yeah, we, we just, we're a little lonely um, at the moment. We need some fun. We need some social. We tried to go to Studio Town and make ourselves some money, but that didn't work particularly well. Like, literally just nothing went well last time round. So this time I want to have a more successful episode. I'm hoping for much better luck in today's Sims 1 attempt. But you guys left me some really great feedback as well, saying that the, the routine of sort of like Studio Town, Magic Town... Um, was getting a little repetitive and I definitely agree it totally was and so I would absolutely love to do something a little bit different today um, focus on maintaining some friendships and of course I've been saying for a while about having Wesley somebody move in with us as our future husband um, and you know maybe having a maybe having a kid with him at some stage of course with the difficulty level of this game Spiky, calm down. It's okay. I'm a little nervous um, <laughs> about the idea of having an extra sim move in and potentially having a child and everything. Can you stop barking at the door, please? I want to interact with you. You're my baby and I love you. Um, but yeah, I think it's about time we just kind of take the plunge and just do it. I mean, like, why not? You know, it's just, it's been a long time coming and I feel like we should, uh, we should really just go for it. Um, uh, I just want to give Spike a little bit of love so we're in a better mood. So... What I'm thinking is, I know for our next spell we needed beeswax, which is pretty easy for us to get. Um, so I'm thinking we could do that now and then maybe invite Wesley downtown for a romantic dinner date. I think it was two episodes ago now we kind of started the process of romancing Wesley. You know, we laid some moves on him. We had a little bit of a kiss, a little bit of a flirt. Then we went too far and tried to push it too far and Wesley didn't like that very much. <laughs> Which is classic, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, we could potentially uh, just, you know, take things a step further today. I think that would be a really fun idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and call, um, how do we even do that? Call a neighbor and invite downtown? Is that how we do that? <laughs> Oh, Claire the Bear's here again. Of course she is. Um, yeah, look, no, let's call up Wesley. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. Let's see if we can go downtown with him and just have a nice time together. Um, invite somewhere, invite downtown. And then maybe we could even try, like I said last episode. Oh, it's going to be a blast. I can't wait. Fantastic. I want to try throwing another party. So I'm thinking what could be really fun is if we do have Wesley kind of move in and then we can get married and everything, we could throw a, a pseudo wedding party. I'm not sure how that's going to work in The Sims 1. I don't know, you know, what kind of options we have throwing a wedding party, but I would like to see if we can actually do it. Um, and I think that would be really, really fun. We've got this huge big space in here for entertaining our guests, which would be a great idea. Obviously, we need to make sure that they can all use the bathroom and that they can all also have food. So that will be another priority for us as well. I should have had Julia sit down while we were waiting for the taxi. It's probably too late now, isn't it? Yep, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, we're going to leave the house as is. I think Spikey's going to be having a nap. Yep, Spikey's just asleep. Otherwise, he's a happy boy because we gave him some love. So we're going to head downtown, which is very... Very exciting. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that music. Such a mood. So we've got Old Farm Square. We've got Landgrab Mall. We've got SimCity Beach. Barrett's Boardwalk. Wren's Days. We've got Main Street. And we've got Headman's Hideaway. Fancy Fried Fish. Let's go here. That sounds like fun. I'm not sure if we've been here before. We potentially have, but that's okay. Oh, we've got a little did you know. Simpson invite you to join you downtown. We'll get their own blue spinning cursor. Yes, I already know that. Thank you. Um, okay, so maybe let's give Wesley an intimate hug. 
Just say hello, how you doing? It's really good to see you. Oh, love that for us. Um, and then we're going to be hugged by someone else. Brad Burb, apparently. Hey, check it out. It's Brad Burb. Guys, we've been literally like playing the Burb household in the in the Sims 2 series this week. So <laughs> that's actually really funny. There's Jennifer. There's, um, sorry, John Burb's parents. Nice. Anyway, maybe let's go and sit over here and see if we can chat together or something just to get our comfort up a little bit. Um, and then we need to do something that's hopefully going to get our fun up a little bit as well. Wesley, you're standing in the way of the taxi. Come and sit with me. Come and sit and talk with me. Yeah. Also, I love that lady's dress. She is looking so spectacular. Yay. Now can we... Oh, we can swing and cuddle. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, I know. It's fine. I don't want to go home just now. Can we... Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wait, did Wesley not want to cuddle? Did he just reject us? Oh, that's so upsetting. Let me see that again. I want to. <laughs> okay, the animation for this is absolutely janktastic. That is amazing. I love it so much. Okay, well, our comfort went up a little bit, so you know that's something. Can we maybe like compliment his star quality? Um. Okay, if Wesley can get off the chair, and then we should totally go and see if we can eat some food together. Um. Maybe give him a peck. You need to go downtown without a sim to use downtown build and buy mode. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for all of these uh, amazing hints and tips. Okay, so we've got a barmaid. So it looks like there's a bar in here where we could order a drink. Nice. Um, is there an actual restaurant where we can eat? This looks like a restaurant. So I think we have... Oh, yes, this is a restaurant. And we have been here before. Um, let's go ahead and order the, like, the gourmando. We want something really, really nice. Okay, let's forget about complimenting Wesley and kissing Wesley. Let's just see if we can go and actually order some food together. Yeah, let's go and eat. Fantastic. Okay. Sims can now have two. Count them. Two ways to track a... Yep, I know. I don't know why the game's giving me a bunch of tips as though I don't know anything. I do know some things. Oh, the piano. <laughs> That's so awesome. Gosh, Sims 1 music is incredible. So who else do we have eating here? Gunther is eating with this Celeste chick. Like, that's not your wife, Gunther. I don't know how I feel about this. But this is okay. Yeah, let's, let's sit down and have a nice, like, three-course meal with Wesley. And see if we can see if we can flirt a little bit, maybe. Maitre de Luc is going to give us our menus, even though we kind of already know what we're eating because we ordered it when we ordered our food. That's fine. We're talking about the sunshine, the lovely weather we've been having. Wesley doesn't like talking about that. Okay, let's talk about Hollywood instead because I'm sure we'll get along talking about Hollywood. Yay! Okay, so our comfort and our social is going up a lot at least. I'm going to just double speed through this. The obsessed fan is creeping. 40 new social interaction sims can try on hot date. You should also try shopping for gifts and then giving them to your friends. Cool. Okay, there's not much I can do right now apart from just change the topic. Can we talk about style? Our relationship doesn't seem to be going up very much, so I don't know if we're actually... No, we're not getting along. Oh, oh, we can play footsie. Let's play footsie. Oh, you didn't like that. Guys, Wesley doesn't like us anymore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Except we're up to 91, so okay, okay, we're going okay. Sims have more interest now, fantastic. Can we admire him? Let's lay on some compliments. Let's talk about how great he is. Can we cuddle? Nope, Wesley is not interested in cuddling. Maybe Wesley's just a bit grumpy because he's really hungry, which you know is fair enough because I'm also a little hungry. So, you know, yeah, if we could have some food, that would be great. Okay, fantastic. Yay, let's go ahead and eat. Okay, so it looks like we have more interactions when we're not eating or ordering or whatever. That's fine. Uh, okay. That's fine, whatever. We've got El Eloisa over here. That's a very pretty name. Okay, can we have our can we have our second course? <laughs> Excuse me. I want my foods. Maybe let's try playing footsie again because he, he might be less 
Yeah, he seemed to enjoy that a lot more now. So obviously he was a bit grumpy because he was a bit hungry. So that's fine. Let's admire him some more. Let's see if we can cuddle. Oh, 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 look, we're cuddling with Wesley. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, we could romantic kiss. Oh, he didn't want that though. Oh no, oh no. Oh, that really hurt our relationship. We were up at like 90 and now we're down at like 80. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, we're not having much fun, are we? And we kind of need to pee. Okay, can we can we finish the meal now? <laughs> I don't want to order more food. I need to go to the bathroom. Just excuse me for one minute, Wesley. I'm, I'm a little, I need to pee and I'm sure you might need to pee as well. Yeah, he does. He really needs to pee. Okay. Well, we'll let him do that and hopefully that'll cheer him up a bit. Hopefully he'll be a bit less grumpy. Okay. Are there any sinks in this bathroom? Can we like, can we wash our hands? There's one over here. Sweet. Let's wash our hands. Okay. Cool. All right. What can we do for fun around here? Because we both need to have some fun. It doesn't actually look like there's that much we can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, well, let's just go over here. I've lost Wesley. Hey, there's Mama. Hey, how you doing, honey? And here's Mortimer. So we could actually go and chat to these other people. Um, if you want to send and and their dates, just choose the say goodbye interaction and then choose the behavior. That's great. Um, and I would love to do so, but I've actually temporarily kind of lost my date. Oh, there he is. He's in here. Um, okay, can we can we like invite him home. Julia, you're not going to be able to go in the men's bathroom, honey. Wesley. Wesley, can you can you not be in the bathroom anymore, Wesley? This guy's trying to l talk to us cuz he's our biggest fan apparently, which is great. Okay, we Wesley. There we go. Now Wesley's in a great mood. <laughs> um can we, what if we just go and sit outside again and then maybe ask him to come and sit with us? Where's the... Come and sit with me. Can we cast Get Happy on ourselves? Because that would actually be really, really helpful. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Okay, now let's go over here because we don't actually want to sit. Okay, can we do an... Can, oh, we can do a... Can we not do an intimate hug? Has our relationship got down th that much... That we're not even romantic anymore? Oh no. Let's talk about the biz. Let's just try to get this up. Let's um kiss polite. I know you're really tired, Julia. Oh, there we go. Okay, so he likes us again. So that's good. And then can we like um well, I mean, we could invite him home, but I don't know what good it's going to do. Because we're about to pass out. But apparently we've invited Wesley home, so that's nice. <laughs> Our romantic date is going swimmingly, guys. Do you need a ride? Yes, please. Come and get me. Come and rescue me. Okay, go here. Oh, we can play with the fountain. Will that give us a little bit of fun? Because we're really bored. Apparently this chick is hitting on our date. Can you not? Yes, I would like to get in a hot tub with Wesley. Maybe, I mean, the thing is that the hot tub got burnt um, to a crisp because of our evil dragon. So, I mean, maybe we can afford a new one, but I don't think we can. And we're so tired we're going to pass out. So maybe we should just go and have a little nap. <laughs> Wesley, you want to come and have a nap with us? Cause, cause that would be nice. Okay. So Wesley's going to use the bathroom again. We're just going to have the tiniest little sleep. Oh, I think that Spikey was dreaming about a dragon egg and I think Wesley's gone, which is fair. We totally just ditched him and went to bed. That's fair. So yeah, I don't know how well that date went. Um, but we tried. <laughs> and I think, I think overall our relationship with Wesley went up. So that's good, I guess. Let's get up. Let's um, freshen up. And then I think we're going to have to just try to do something extremely fun for the next little while. We also need to eat. Um, 
Okay, I think the most fun things in our house are our computer and our pinball machine. So yeah, maybe let's go ahead and play some pinball and then we can try to maybe like eat. Let's go, Julia, get that fun meter up. Here we go, sister. Cool. And then should we should we try just inviting Wes over? What did we need the beeswax for also? I forget. Was that so we could trade for something? I can't remember. I'm going to have to come back here and look up spells so I can figure out what we were up to with magic. Um, and then, yeah, I would like to get another Reign of Riches spell happening because that was just really nice. That was this one, I think. Beeswax, Rubber Chicken and Diamond Dust. Yeah, that was really nice. I liked that one. Okay, so yeah, we're trying to make this. So that's beeswax, dragon scales, and llama spit. Do I have all of those things? Let me see. Inventory, beeswax, dragon scales, llama spit. I totally do. Oh, let's go ahead and make this charm then. Why not? Um, so llama spit, beeswax, and dragon scales. And then we can make charm. Nice. So yeah, it's, I mean, we've got another rubber chicken in our inventory, so we would just have to get another diamond dust and more beeswax from our bees. And then we should have, ooh, a polar attraction charm. What do you do? Yeah, then we would be able to get another reign of riches and kind of get our hot tub back and do all sorts of fun things. So that would be kind of nice. I think I can hear a, maid, a male girl screaming, but it's fine. Opposites attract, as do sims with similar interests and tastes. But why waste your time figuring out the criteria for attraction when you could just easily craft a polar attraction charm? Forget about the small talk. Don't worry about how people will react to that inappropriate joke. With polar attraction at your side, everyone will think you're witty. Just make sure you're feeling all right before diving in uh, because you won't want this spell to actually have an opposite effect. <laughs> Wow, well, I mean, that could be useful for getting Wesley to love us, but I don't know. I don't feel like we should be struggling that much. Interesting, interesting. All right, well, we'll keep that one up our sleeve. Okay, so our next one, we need garlic, snake venom, oh God, and butter. So I'm assuming we get that from the snake charmer somehow, the snake venom. Um, but I've got no idea otherwise how we go about doing that. So that's cool. All right. Well, I think we should eat something and then maybe head down to Studio Town. Claire Curtin, designer, through a majority of the designer, though a majority of the design of the game came from Will Wright, Roxy and Claire picked up the other tasks such as documenting the design. Claire found the voice actors and directed recording sessions. Claire also specified every sound in the game and made sure, th oh, sorry, and there are a lot of them. Together with Sean, she made sure The Sims has a lot of sound in very interesting places. Places. Fun fact, Claire is also from the former kids group working on titles such as Simtown. Nice! Gosh, I miss the original Maxis team. <laughs> oh, I really, really hope that Will Wright is busy working on a new life simulation game. Just saying, okay, yep, good. Good chat. Um, I'm pretty sure Will Wright's actually working for a game studio at the moment. That's the only reason I say that, because it's actually within the realm of possibility. And I mean, like, it would be amazing. If he was working on something. But yeah, no, as I was saying, I think it would be good if we would go, if we could go down to Studio Town today, see if we can earn just a little bit of cash monies. But more than that, I also want to see if we can run into Jessica uh, or Mama or Angela um, so we can kind of rekindle our relationship with those guys. So let's go down to, <coughs> excuse me, let's go down to Studio Town. Let's see if we can make a little money and let's see if we can run into those guys. Spiky, you had to sit right there. Oh, God. And the phone's ringing. Hello? Oh, no. Did we miss the phone call? Oh, man. Oh, man. That could have been money. <laughs> okay. Let's maybe play some fetch with Spiky. Get the bull, Spike. Get the bull. Good boy. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> My dogs, when you try to play fetch, they go and get the ball, but then they don't bring it back. So I feel like they're kind of missing the basic point of fetch there. But, you know, they try and they're very cute. So that's what matters. All right. So who we got here? Is that it? No, that's not Angela. There's Angela. All right. Let's go ahead and give her a star kiss. Let's say hi to our old friend, Angela. See if we can just rekindle our relationship with her. And um, yeah, hopefully get that looking a little better 
because we used to be really close and I would really like to be close with her again. So let's go ahead and talk about the biz. Let's talk about interests and let's talk about ourself. Um, and then let's maybe ask, um, how are you? That's a nice thing to ask. Yay, we made a new family friend. Okay, that's good. So at least we're friends with Angela again now. That that makes me feel better. I like that. Hey, there's Bethany. Hello. Um, we've got Bruce over here. We've got like Sarah McLaughlin wandering around. Okay, cool. So that's nice. I'm glad we managed to fix that situation. Um, and then, yeah, maybe let's come over here and see if we can successfully do one of these shoots. I'm not particularly confident <laughs> at this point. If our celebrity status just keeps going down, I'm not particularly worried because um, eventually we will unlock that spell to keep us at four and a half stars, I believe. Um, but yeah, I would just like to earn a little bit of money and this is a really good way of doing that. So if someone could come over and act with us, that would be great. Maybe? Anyone want to come over and uh, help a sister out? Nope. Okay, let's try again. Okay, let's try again. Okay, let's go here. And let's, let's try again. Okay, it seems like this is glitched, so that's not going to happen. All right, let's come over here and do something then. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. This is fine. I just want to earn a little bit of money, guys. I just want to earn a little bit of money. Come on, here we go. Comedic, comedic, comedic. This is a really, really funny emergency scene. Tracy seems into it. Well, she liked the humor for the first two. Maybe we'll go with drama for the last one. Like, oh, it's so funny. Oh, it's a joke. Oh, this is hilarious. Wait a minute. This is actually quite serious. No, okay. Didn't like that. We gotta, we gotta leave him with a cliffhanger. It's not the end of the emergency scene. It's gonna continue. It's gonna keep going. There we go. Nailed it. Fantastic. Okay, we got 300 simoleons. I'm proud of us. Let's go and use the celebrity trailer, see if we can just get our mood up just a little. Um, I wouldn't mind a mud bath, actually. Gosh, that sounds really good. I could, like, I could go for a mud bath in real life. Whew. Um, okay, but I think, should we try doing another, another thing? Yeah, let's just do an inheritance scene quickly before we go home for the day, get ourselves another 300 simoleons, and then we'll at least be able to pay the next round of our bills. Um, and then I will have Julia freshen up a bit and we might invite Wesley over and see if we can kind of get him to move in with us. Cause that would be a really fun thing to do, um, with today's episode, I think. Okay, so we can try that. Action! Oh, I think she loves us. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. Another couple of hundred bucks. That's all I wanted from today. Happy with that. Let's go home. And we managed to rekindle our friendship with Angela somebody, so that's really good as well. Um, the next person we have to try to catch up with is Jessica. It's really sad that we're not friends because she's like one of our first and oldest celebrity friends. So I would really like to fix that. But that's okay. I mean, if we can manage to throw a party, then they can all come along to our wedding. And, you know, that'll be amazing. <laughs> I would really like that. Okay, let's get our butts home and let us go to bed and have a bit of a snooze. And then we will try inviting our dear Wesley over. See if he will move in with us. I wonder if Wesley's rich. Do Sims and the Sims 1 bring in money when they move in? Because that would actually be really nice. Whoops. There we go. That was also bugging me. Okay, big sleep, Julia. That's it, honey. Get yourself happy. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a shower because we don't want to be smelly after our nap when Wesley comes over now, do we? No, we don't. And then let's go ahead and fill the bowl and then let's call our neighbor Wesley over and start working on some dinner so that we can feed him and make him happy. Somebody call. Invite over. 
My favourite soap opera has almost finished. I'll be over in a few minutes. Is that your favourite soap opera, Wesley, because you act in it? <laughs> Don't you guys feel like Wesley somebody would totally be a soap actor and he would totally be someone who watches himself in his soap being like, oh, yeah, that was a great scene. Oh, yeah, that was a great scene. <laughs> okay. Um, uh-oh. Yeah, just put that down. Good. Um, let's go ahead and greet him with a romantic kiss. Hopefully he doesn't reject us. Hey, Tiffany, what's up? Oh, good to see you, baby. Were you watching you in your soap? Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go ahead and cook this food. Oh, he wants to cheer us up. Oh, that's so nice. Wesley, you can cheer us up. That that sounds nice. Yes, cheer me up, Wesley. <laughs> Pulls a puppet out of his pocket. Man, I should just start carrying a puppet around in my pocket to cheer people up when I think they look sad. A lot of people on the train look sad. I notice that a lot because I catch the train to and from work. So maybe I should just start carrying a puppet and just pull it out and start waving it in people's faces to cheer them up. That would definitely be normal and not freak people out whatsoever. Don't you guys reckon? Yeah, it would be fine. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, beautiful. So we've had our food. Our fun is completely in the red. So maybe let's just go and um, I would get in the hot tub, but we don't have one. So let's go and turn on the TV. Let's sit and watch, relax and watch some TV and see if Wesley wants to come and join us. Um, come and sit with me, darling. And watch TV. He actually might need to go to the toilet as well. I should probably let him pee. Hello, Ruby. My dog's on the floor just looking at me, wagging her tail, just like, Mama, playtime? <laughs> Cheeky little nugget. Let's have a cuddle. Can, oh, can we not have a cuddle? Can we have a cuddle? Nope. Can we turn off the TV? What just happened? They just did like a swapsy. Oh, cuties. Oh, this is... Oh, we can caress. We can embrace. We can kiss. Oh, look at us go. <gasps> Wesley just disappeared. You guys. Guys, Wesley just disappeared. <laughs> oh, no. Where did he go? What the... What is that? Uh oh, guys, has the game glitched? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I gotta Google. I gotta Google a reset cheat. Oh snap! Not stop setting. We were going so well. Oop, okay, we managed to do a big old reset. Um, unfortunately, it looked like Wesley completely disappeared into the void. So that's not great. <laughs> That was horrible. We were having such a nice time. We were canoodling. It was all going well. It was a beautiful thing. And then he literally disappears. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? No. Okay, well, we're going to go to bed. We're going to have some beauty sleep. And then you know what? Before we finish this episode, Wesley is coming over and he is moving in. Oh, God. Scary music. I feel like the obsessed fan comes with scary music or he should. Okay, so it is morning and uh, we've got a delinquent notice. So we really need to go ahead and get the mail. Whoops. We also have these roses over here that we can go ahead and add to inventory. Um, and then, yeah, Spikey, can you not chase the mail? Nancy, the paper girl, please. Naughty doggy. <laughs> we're hungry and our house is a mess. Um, so we're going to have to deal with that. We've got another did you know about Bob King, animator, and BJ West, graphic artist. Another couple of Martians we abducted. What? Bob and BJ helped with nearly impossible task of getting every animation and object done on time and on schedule. The Sims team had originally hoped to include 100 objects with the game. With the help of others such as BJ, we were able to ship over 200. Bob is still the only Maxis employee with a DeLorean. Fun fact, The Sims has over 1,400 animations. That's amazing. Oh, gosh, look at our super expensive bills, you guys. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and pay the red ones. And that's going to leave us quite destitute. 
Um, so then we're going to go ahead and wait for the maid to come and clean up our crap. <laughs> Let's have a quick lunch, um, have a shower, and then get Wesley over here to move in with us because we want to move in. We want to live with Wesley. That was my aim for today. I really wanted Wesley to move in. So this time we're just going to invite him over and then, you know, like no fiddle, fiddle farting around or anything. We're just going to be like, propose, move in, move in with me, baby. I just don't know where you ran off to last night, but I was having such a nice time before you disappeared. We're not creepy. Okay. The phone is ringing. Hello. Julia. Okay. You're going to have to get out the shower. The phone's ringing. No, we missed it. Gosh, dang it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and call neighbor and invite Wesley over. Let's fill up Spiky's food bowl. Our fun meter has completely tanked once again. Oh, gosh. Okay, somebody, Wesley, call, invite over. Now, no disappearing this time. Love to. I'm bored stiff over here. That's right. You would love to. Now, come over and marry me. Okay. I know, I know you're really depressed, Julia. Where's Spiky? Oh, there he is. He's right there. Uh, can we play with pet? Cheer yourself up. Pet your dog. That's why you have a dog. Hopefully Wesley will want to cheer us up with a sock puppet again. <laughs> Let's maybe play some chess. Oh, no. She's going to be, I'm not in the mood. I'm too depressed for chess. Oh, well, you know what? That's fair. Okay, Wesley is here, which is great. Hopefully he is going to, yeah, want to cheer us up with his little puppet in his pocket. Um, let's go ahead and give him another romantic kiss. So where'd you go last night, baby? I missed you. Oh, sorry about that, sweetie. Something happened and I just had to go. Um, okay, yeah, he's going to cheer us up. Nice. Stop waving at me and let your boyfriend cheer you up, you freaking idiot. Okay, proposition marriage. So can we not even go ahead and, like, propose? Is it just, like, marry me? Is that, <laughs> Is that the deal? Can we not just propose, move in? I wanted our friends to be here for this, but we're in a terrible mood. Oh, well, let's go ahead and throw a party. What the heck? Everyone come over. We're getting married. Could we not choose? Oh, that's right. You can't choose who you invite either. Okay. Well, this is going to be great. I can tell. All right. So do we not have... Oh, what am I doing? They're going to be in toilets. Other? Yes. Porta potties. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get like at least two of these things. There we go. Now people can do that. And then do we have stuff for parties in here? We've got a cake. Is there like a wedding arch? There's a roast turkey dinner. Let's have a roast turkey dinner. Yes. I'm wasting all of our money on this. This is going to be fantastic. We could get a stage so Julia could perform a little something something for everyone. <laughs> um, knowledge. We could have a beach volleyball net. Oh, all of this stuff is too expensive. Guys, we're paupers. Is there not something in here for like... Is there not a party section? Guys, it doesn't look like there's a party section. Oh, oh, oh! Food, yes. This is important. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a beautiful, like, mesh. Don't you guys think that's a beautiful mesh? I love that for us. Yes. Okay, so we've got a buffet table. Nice. We've got some porta potties. The only other thing... No, you know what? That's pretty good. I was just hoping that there would be like... Um, yeah, I guess some kind of like a wedding arch. There probably is. And I just don't know because I'm stupid. What's this? Oh, it's a... Oh, oh that's really pretty. <laughs> mistletoe we could get mistletoe we could get this this is very pretty I mean maybe we could get married out here oh there's a Christmas tree huh sculptures paintings da, da, da. 
Hmm. Let me just quickly Google this. Is there a Sims 1 wedding arch? I want to know. You guys know what I just realized? What if Wesley says no? <laughs> um. Yeah, no, okay. Doesn't look like there's any uh, Sims 1 wedding arches, so that's fine. This will do. This is beautiful. It's going to be amazing. Julia, I really need you to cheer yourself up, though. Um, can we, like, can we play at all? Can we... Let's just go and maybe watch some TV in preparation for our wedding day. And Wesley, if you want it, you can just like go and freshen up, use the toilet, do whatever you want. Let's switch to romance to really get ourselves in the wedding mood. Okay, so here are the neighbors, um, none of which are our actual friends. Let's go ahead and actually call over our friends. Why is that guy wearing a mask over his, like a helmet over his face? Who knows? Okay, let's call Lee, invite over. Come over, I'm getting married. The The guy doesn't know yet, but it's going to be great. It's going to be a fun time. Somebody, Raquel, invite over. Everybody stay away from my magic room. Raquel's got some juicy gossip for us. Nice. Hello. Uh, somebody, and then let's call Angela, invite over. Fantastic. And then let's call. Jessica, invite over. And we have to make sure that we give Jessica a hug and actually say goodbye and everything. I mean, say hello and everything because that's going to be great. Also, you know what we should do? We should cast um smiley face on one of the people that are here because then they'll be our friend. That's a cool idea. Oh my gosh, everybody's up in the magic room. <laughs> Okay, so let's be friends with Christopher. Let's, um, can we do that? Can we talk, um, about ourselves to Christopher and say hi? Oh, no, Wesley's starving, you guys. Uh-oh. We need to fill the table. We need to fill the table. Julia, quick, come and serve food. Otherwise, everybody's going to be really, really hungry and grumpy. There we go. Okay. Um, Wesley, hello. Can we just have... I don't even know. Every This is going to end so badly. I'm so excited. Let's talk to Raquel. Let's talk about the biz. I know you're in a terrible mood, honey. It's going to be okay. Can we... See, we can proposition her to move in. I wanted to do that with Wesley, but apparently we can't do that. Let's juggle. Let's juggle to Raquel. Okay, she didn't like that at all. Fantastic. Um, Right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab some food. Everybody come down and eat. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to eat after the wedding ceremony, but that's fine. Jessica, honey, come on inside. We don't stand upon ceremony here. Yes. But yeah, it would be really great if we should could just cast get happy on ourselves right now. That would that would be amazing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So now we've had some food. Can we talk? To Christopher. Someone, I think, just wet themselves or broke something. One of the two. I'm not sure. Um, okay. Can we cast smiley face? There we go. Christopher, be our friend. Yay! <laughs> That's amazing! Guys, we made a new family friend. How good is that? Also, is Wesley still here? Because I swear, is he's gone. No, he's still here. Okay. Proposition marriage. Let's just go and propose. Let's just do it. Because you know what? It's only going downhill from here. And I feel like we need a strike while the iron is hot. Okay. Wesley, honey, will you marry me? Did he say no? <laughs> I'm flattered, but I don't love you. Just a small detail you neglected to consider. Maybe we have a future together, but it's not starting now. Oh my God. How, how dare he? This is horrible. You guys. Oh no. Guys, Wesley said no, he doesn't love us. 
Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew this was a bad idea. And we're about to pass out. We are so tired and we've ha we're having no fun. Why don't you love me? I thought you loved me. Why? <laughs> but you know what? On the plus side, I feel like this party is going a lot better than my last one. Because you remember in the last party, everybody just got stuck in the bathroom and then started passing out. So that's great. We just, yeah, we threw the wedding party, but we just neglected to check if he would actually marry us first. So that's, that's fine. No worries. Um, okay. Well, I think this has been a very unsuccessful attempt at having Wesley, uh, move in with us and you know start our future together and all that kind of thing so I think I'm gonna call it an episode here I think we've um okay great we've got a skunk I think um that's enough torture for one day <laughs> we actually did make some good progress today though like we we earned some money and we pardon me we created the next um magical charm thing and uh we went out on a date with Wes it just the only problem was he decided he didn't want to marry us so you know what there's always the option of trying again. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this complete failure. I quite enjoyed playing it, to be honest, because I just find this kind of thing absolutely hilarious. So um, if you did enjoy this episode, don't forget to leave a like under the video and <laughs> hit subscribe if you are new around here. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next episode's coming out. And uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned for when we come back next time and uh, just give that another go. Just give it another shot. Try again. Yep, it's going to be fun. So I'll do it then. I've been Tia Addict. I hope you had a good time today. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, it's Tia Addict. And I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my first ever official patron supporter, Megan Rogers. Now, if you look at my Patreon, you'll be like, but wait, you've got two. One of them is my boyfriend. It doesn't count. Anyway, Megan, I just wanted to say a huge, huge, huge thank you for pledging $5 a month uh, to my Patreon. Guys, I put together a Patreon page a couple of weeks ago and started just linking it in my videos really sneaky down in the description uh, because I don't, I, just, I don't know, I'm funny about this kind of thing, but I don't want to like ask you guys for support or ask you guys for like money. I just, I feel really strange about that. But now that Megan has found it and pledged some support, I thought I, I better bring it up. Um, I've got a Patreon. It's there. If you would like to support me, you can do so at, I think it's like $3 a month, $5 a month or $10 a month. I'll be putting together some sort of like patron special rewards and things like that. But the main thing is a huge shout out. So <laughs> thank you so, so, so much to Megan. Um, thank you so much for engaging in my like community so well. Thank you for all of your comments on my videos. I love reading your feedback every time you leave me a little comment there. Um, thank you so much for pledging your support. Uh, with this, I can you know, slowly but surely hopefully put more effort and a time and attention and love into my YouTube stuff, into my videos, uh, because eventually I would love to make this sort of more like a, a side career more than a side hobby and yeah generate a little income from it if I can so thank you so much Megan love you long time and yeah I just can't say thank you enough 